Hey there. Today we are going to be talking about three psychology experiments that people and GPT get wrong. Now, GPT is what we call a large language model. And it's models like these that power things like chat GPT, which you guys are probably familiar with at this point. And these models can do some really cool stuff like predict text. They can solve problems. And they can even make decisions. But the question is, how good are they? So today, we're going to talk about three psychology experiments. These are classics. And we're going to see how well people and GPT do in making their decisions. So the first problem, let's get a fun color here. The first problem is called the Linda problem. <laughs> and this is a hypothetical situation where you have to make a decision. So Linda is a bright, outspoken, and politically active person, okay? Now, the question is, is Linda also a bank teller? Or is it more likely that Linda is a bank teller and an active feminist? Now, most people and GPT choose the second one. Now, the second one is not actually the most likely because we can also look at all the people who are bank tellers and we can look at all the people that are active feminists and actually compare how many people. So if we look at bank teller and active feminist and these characteristics of Linda's, this many people are going to represent those characteristics. Whereas if we are just looking at Linda and our bank tellers, we're looking at a lot more people. So it's actually more likely that Linda is just a bank teller. All right, moving on. The second problem that we're going to talk about is called the cab problem. And this is a type of problem called a base rate fallacy. So there is an accident with a cab at night in a city. And in this city, there are 85% green cabs and 15% blue cabs. Now, a witness can recognize the cab color about 80% of the time. So the question is, what is the likelihood? Ooh, I don't think I spelled that right. How about we just use chance? <laughs> chance that the cab is green. Now, the most common answer here that people give is 80%. Now, the reason that people give that answer is because they ignore this base rate and just use the last information that they were given. Now, GPT generally gets this correct because it actually calculates the, the statistics combining the base rate and whether uh, the witness can recognize things. But if we change the wording subtly, um, GPT makes some weird mistakes that humans wouldn't. So for example, if we changed our question to what is the chance that the cab is black, GPT then says 20%, which doesn't make any sense because there are no black cabs in the city and a human would not actually make that mistake. 
So specifics about the wording can change the ability of GPT to answer something correctly. All right, our last problem. This I am going to dub the money problem. It's not the actual name. And there are lots of different versions of this. Um, but this is basically a loss aversion bias problem. So people don't wanna lose money. So in this case, I'm going to give you $200 and you need to make a decision. Do you want to A, uh, have a 50% chance that you lose $100 or would you rather have a 100% chance that you lose $50. Well, people and GPT generally choose A. And this is because they don't wanna lose anything. So if there's a chance that they're not gonna lose anything, that's what they're going to decide. Now, if we change the wording from, let's say, lose here to gain, then our answers actually shift because here we have a 100% chance that we gain something, um, which is really interesting. And people in GPT have this same change if we change the wording here. So let's keep in mind when we're thinking about these large language models like GPT, um, that GPT is trained on text that's written by humans. So a lot of GPT is going to have some of the same biases as humans. So the next time you use ChatGPT or any other large language models, just remember that what you get is only as good as the training that that model has received. Hope you learned something today and have a great one.